In this video, I'm going to show you how you can extract a zip file in Hostinger. So let's jump into it. So once you're on Hostinger and you've logged in, you should then be on your dashboard, which should look something like this. Now from here, you need to choose the website you want to edit. So go ahead and click on the website at the top here, or you may need to click on these three lines in the top right and then go to websites. Either way, just go ahead and click on the websites link and then it will take you here. You can then find the website you want to edit and then click on manage. Now from here, you want to go ahead and go to your file manager. So click file manager and that will open in a new window. So just wait for it to redirect here. Now once you've redirected into your file manager, go into public and then what you need to do is go ahead and upload the zip file. So click this upwards pointing arrow in the top right hand corner and it's then going to ask you do you want to upload a file or a folder? Because we're uploading a zip file, you want to click on file and then you need to go ahead and find your zip file. So I'm going to upload this one here, wpconfig.zip. So click open and it should then show you in the bottom right that it's uploading that folder. So here is that zip file. You can then go ahead and click on it. And if you right click, you can click extract and it's then going to extract that folder. You can then choose a folder name as well as a destination to extract it. I'm just going to leave this and extract it into the public folder, then click extract. For the video, I'm just going to call this test, but you can call this whatever you want. Once you've clicked extract, it will then extract that file. So here you can see you've got the test folder and inside that folder, you've got a file. Now, if you wanted to move the location of this file, right click on it, then go to move file. And then you can go ahead and click on this folder icon and you can then move it anywhere you want. So I'm just going to move it here to the top layer, which is going to be the public underscore HTML folder. Once we click move, it should then move. And here you can see here is our new file, which we've extracted from the zip file. So I hope that quick video did help you out.